This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Geraldine, and I'm a SNAP educator working with the SNAP education program at City Harvest. Today, I will show you how to make three delicious recipes using melons. My plate illustrates the five food groups that are the building blocks for a healthy diet. We see the five sections that make up my plate. Fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. When looking at your own plate, we should aim to make half of our plates fruits and vegetables. Fruit and vegetable rich diets may reduce the risk of heart disease, including heart attack and stroke, and may protect against certain types of cancer. Eat seasonally. Checking what fruits are in season can help you save money and they are at their peak flavor. At least half of your fruit intake should come from whole fruits. When choosing fruits, you could select fresh, canned, frozen, or dry. Cantaloupe has rib and a net light skin. It also has orange flesh. Honeydew has a very smooth surface, cream color rind, and a pale green flesh. Both are high in vitamin C. Cantaloupe is high in vitamin A and a great source of folate. When selecting melons, look for cantaloupes and honeydews that are heavy for their size without cracks or bruising. A slightly sweet smell indicates that the fruit is ripe. Thoroughly wash melons before using. Use a sharp knife to carefully remove the rind. Slice the melon lengthwise. Using a large spoon, scrape out the seeds from the center or use a spoon or scoop to remove the flesh. Now let's get started with our first recipe, cantaloupe and avocado salad with honey lime dressing. For this recipe, you will need one cantaloupe chop, two tomatoes diced and seeded, one avocado, three tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of honey, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. Avocados are naturally rich in monosaturated fat, healthy fat that helps lower your blood cholesterol levels. When selecting avocados, make sure that they don't have any bruises, that they have a smooth skin. Look for avocados that are green and firm if you won't be using them for a few days, or avocados that are black and evenly yield to gentle touch for immediate use. To ripen avocados, you may leave them out at room temperature until they soften. Look for avocados without bruises, blemishes, soft spots, or very mushy flesh. In a large bowl, we're going to whisk together our lime juice, our olive oil, our honey, our salt, and pepper. We're going to add our cantaloupe. Cantaloupe adds sweetness along with potassium and plenty of antioxidants like vitamin A and C. Our tomatoes, avocados, and now we're going to toss this to coat. This recipe is ready to be enjoyed. Moving on to our second recipe, watermelon and tomato salad. Watermelons come in many colors. They grow on lawn vines and ripen during the summer. You may also find seedless watermelon varieties. Look for watermelons that are heavy for their size, tap on them and they will have a hollow sound. And lastly, a good sized yellow spot indicates ripeness. That means that it has been sitting out in the sun for it to ripen. Unlike other fruits, watermelons stop ripening once they're picked. Watermelon is an excellent source of vitamin C 
and a good source of vitamin A. Have you ever noticed how watermelon quenches your thirst? That's because 92% of watermelon is actually water. So for this recipe, I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm going to scoop out the rest of it for dicing. Watermelon is always a great snack. And one good thing about watermelon, if you're not using the whole thing, is that you could freeze it and make watermelon juice. For this recipe, you will need two cups of watermelon, one large tomato chopped and seeded, one tablespoon of non-fat or low-fat feta or queso fresco, one tablespoon of olive oil, juice of a half a lemon and salted pepper to taste. It is optional to always garnish with fresh herbs. We're going to combine the watermelon, the tomato, and feta cheese. We're going to squeeze our half lemon right into our bowl. And drizzle it with olive oil. We could add a little bit of salt, but remember, cheese has salt in it, so be aware of that when you're adding your salt and our pepper to taste. We can now toss this. And we're going to cut a little bit of our fresh herbs. These could be washed right before using. And this recipe is now ready to be enjoyed. Keep in mind, the watermelon leaks a lot of water. So if you're saving this recipe for later use, just make sure that you add the cheese right before serving. Our last recipe, it's melon skewers with honey yogurt dipping sauce. This is a really fun recipe for kids. They love dipping the fruit in the yogurt sauce. Any fruit will work. Anything that is in season will be great for this recipe. The protein in the yogurt and the fiber in the fruit make a very filling snack. For this recipe, you will need half a small watermelon, half cantaloupe, half honeydew, one cup of plain yogurt, two tablespoons of lime juice, lime zest, one teaspoon of honey, and six wooden skewers. The amount of fruit you eat depends on the age, sex, and level of physical activity. People who are very active may need more. This recipe is a great way to incorporate different whole foods into one meal. These are great for barbecues. Leftover cantaloupe can actually be used in juice as well. I love cantaloupe juice. It's not something that people consume very often, but it's quite refreshing. I like it for breakfast. We're not going to spear our fruit into skewers. You could also use toothpicks for this recipe. We're now going to drizzle the lemon or lime juice into our skewers and set some lime over them. I love sesting citrus fruits because it gives a great flavor to food. It goes well over fish, it goes well over salad, 
fruit salad. It's just really delicious. We are now going to mix our yogurt and honey, and we're going to put some lime zest in it. Consuming dairy products provides health benefits, especially improved bone health. Remember that strong bodies need really, really, really strong bones. It's always better to buy plain yogurt. When you buy flavored yogurt, it contains a lot of sugar. If you add fruits or sweeten your yogurt, you will likely add less sugar to it. You could dip the fruit kebab into the yogurt sauce right before eating. Mmm. It's been a fun day with melon. Each recipe yields four servings of half a cup each, which counts towards the adult daily goal of one and a half to two cups per day. In general, one cup fruit or 100% fruit juice or half a cup of dry fruit counts towards your daily intake of fruit. Melons in general can be stored in the fridge for up to two days in an airtight container. Thank you so much for joining me today as we learn how to prepare three healthy recipes using melons. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snaped.ny.org. This material was funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.